Welcome back, everybody. Time really flies when you're having fun. Um, again, another full afternoon uh, with new insights, great speakers, all about open science and collaboration and fearless data sharing across borders. We've almost come to the end. Uh, I can't believe it, but we have. Um, and from what I've heard uh, online, but also from the speakers here in the studio, everyone really uh, enjoyed this three-day event and people are really enthusiastic, which is great. Now, today has shown us that we can only really move fast forward if we open up our uh, science and share our data fearlessly. Please feel free to connect after uh, our wrap up in the network carousel with fellow professionals, because if there's one thing I've learned today is that we really need to connect and stay connected with each other but not before we've had a closing talk to get some response of this afternoon. I'd like to welcome back Jette Ranitz and Maurice Bauhaus and Imke van den Berg. Welcome. Good to see Hi. you. Nice to you. be here. Yes, at the end, it's flown, hasn't it? It surely has. Yes. Um, Imke, could you share some of the highlights of today? Yeah, and, uh, for me, it was a really nice uh, afternoon full of uh, information i there were of course uh after the plenary session for uh yeah a parallel session so i could not join all of them so i uh, stick to, to two which one so, did you join? Um, uh the ones on uh fearless data sharing right uh, across borders so uh yeah some of the things i uh i, I learned there is um uh that I was very happy to see in the Bob's presentation we uh, we just had that we are working closely together in uh, in Europe, but also uh, yeah, as he presented worldwide in uh, collaborating in the, yeah, trying to solve all the problems uh, we uh, we encounter in this uh, fearless data sharing, and um, more specific, the colleagues uh, in the videos uh, showed some uh, some solutions that been that's been working on that I thought that was very nice. Is there and, one you could address? Um, Something you find like this is really interesting, or well, uh, for, for, from my back, personal background, uh, the, the amount of data is uh, always quite high. So that was personally in my uh, research uh, uh, background uh, always a challenge. So for me, especially the the uh, the, the the project of uh, of Raymond uh, was talking about uh, uh, the Cisco project was very interesting. Um, but yeah, I mean all the all the different challenges, of course, have their own... Uh, sure, their own, uh, sure. Yeah, and I also very much liked uh, one of the sentences Bob uh, actually uh, uh, talked about. That he said, uh, linking data sets, federating infrastructures, aligning policies, starts by linking people and organizations. And I think that's what we exactly do uh, with a conference like this. So uh, I like that one uh, specifically uh, as well. But um, yeah, also Vera's... Uh, Talk was, Vera's uh, keynote. Yeah, that was very, uh, very interesting in my view. Uh, she made it pretty clear why open science is uh, so important, not only for researchers, but also for, the, for communities and society. And although it is uh, indeed scary as hell to start from the beginning of your research to already share the things you are doing, I think uh, it is uh, really the way forward and also to yeah, bring this, yeah, this topic of open science more within education is a very good step forward. So um, yeah, that were some of the takeaways I at least. Great. Thank you, Imke, for sharing some of your insights of this afternoon. Now, Maurice. Yeah. <laughs> a full week, three days full of parallel sessions. It's gone incredibly fast. That's what. Uh, so I'm happy and proud, happy uh, about uh, the coming together of this community the interesting talks, the, the engagement that we had. We had a lot of questions also uh, during the, from the chat Absolutely. and during the sessions, which uh, shows the engagement. I'm proud of the team that put all of this together, both the Fokker terminal, the AVEC people and the SURF people, who we had a totally different event in mind when we started this a uh, little over a year ago. And we pulled together a very nice production uh, of uh, three full afternoons uh, of data. So I'm, I'm looking back, uh, yeah, I'm happy. You're happy. And um, would you like to have another virtual event next year or shall we do it live? <laughs> well, the one thing I really, really, really miss is being able to interact with people. 
during sure. the breaks, during the bitter baller after the sessions, which is one of the treat. things that I miss. <laughs> exactly. Um, so I'm hoping, I'm aiming for that we have a nice uh, live conference uh, next year, whether it is one day, a couple of days, or a full week. We'll see. Um, but the world has changed. I think uh, we will not just have a live conference anymore. I no. think there will be an online component Hybrid. as part of uh, any uh, future uh, event. Now, helping design that will be a lot of fun. Uh, that's what I'm uh, already uh, looking forward and to. And challenging, I can imagine. Like, yeah. uh, have you got ideas for which topics you'd like to put in next, next that's event? A, that's a problem. You can easily have uh, 10 afternoons or 10 days of different topics. You can go from quantum computing to, yes. OK, uh, how did the supercomputer perform? So broad. How do we share data? How is open science developing? What I would like very much is to co-program this with our partners from the field, from the different communities, and fill these, let's say, couple of days with meetings that also benefit them. I think there's a lot of interesting stuff going on at this cross crossroads between research and IT and the crossover between them. We can easily fill a couple of days. So making the choice on what to program with our communities, that's uh, the challenge uh, that I will take on uh, for next year. Exciting, exciting. Anything else you'd like to share? in particular, maybe about some parallel sessions or... Oh, um, well, well, I have two takeaways from this, uh, from this week. Uh, one of them, I'm a nerd at heart, so the supercomputer and getting a peek in that uh, and uh, seeing what the possibilities are and hear Detlef talk about one of the COVID uh, yes. searches uh, on aerosols, uh, what that means. I love that. Uh, that, that gets me excited and that also means that I'm looking forward to this, this event that we'll have with the opening of the supercomputer just after, uh, after summer. I'm also a, a people person at heart, uh, so the spotlight on the research supporter and the research support champions that we uh, put there, that was the first uh, thing that we did, uh, is one of the highlights uh, for me and I'm very, very sure that we will keep doing that uh, in future too. Great. Thank you so much, Maurice. I see people in the chat asking, oh, can I watch the sessions back? Yes, you can. From the 22nd of April, all sessions uh, will be on the website, so you can watch them all back. And um, also, you'll uh, receive an evaluation form by the end of this week, and we'd be very happy if you could fill that in for us. Um, and finally, yet, welcome back again. Thank you. Um, would you like to share some closing thoughts yeah. for our participants? Well, I was here at the start and I'm here at the end and I've, I've been present in a number of talks uh, in, in the meantime and it's really nice to see so many people participating. I think we've had about 200 people uh, uh, participating in each of the three days. A bit more, I believe. Yeah. And, it could, and, and if you add those all up, because it probably wasn't the same takeout on, on each of the days. No. So a lot of people in our community have participated and I think that stands for the collaborative effort that we're in. Um, when you want to promote open science, when you want to move forward uh, and, and bring science to the next phase, because ICT is becoming an integral part of, of how we do science. Um, and it takes a lot of people, not just the researchers, but also the research supporters, as, as Maurice pointed out, uh, and people at SURF. And we're trying to sort of pave the road to the future as we're walking on it. Right. Um, and I think that's part of the fun. Um, and we've seen a lot of great examples on, on how to do it. We've also heard a lot of questions, Many questions. Uh, that we're still working on that we don't have ready answers for. Um, we're, not that goes, we're not magicians. Not magicians. And, um, you know, you can count on SURF to take care of the infrastructure yes. and any technical, uh, technological tools you might want to have uh, to bring it further. But what exactly researchers need and what exactly the research supporters would like to have, uh, they need to tell us and we need to do this together. So I'm looking forward Great. to the future. And um, maybe you have some takeaways for the participants? Well, kind of cool, cool for action. I've, I've heard a lot of people talking today in particular about open science, about fair data, about data sharing um, and, and how to build that world so that, um, you know, in, not just in Europe, but globally be able to work together 
to get solutions to the big problems that we're facing, be it uh, healthcare, uh, where COVID is an example, but climate change is another. Uh, you know, for those big, wicked problems, we need all the science we can get. And uh, what it takes to really shape uh, that space in which we can do it, that's a big question. And we need all your suggestions uh, and all of your brains uh, to get there. So all of your brains, all of your questions, all of your effort, all of your collaboration is needed. Um, thank you, Yet. Thank you, Maurice, and thank you, Imke. And thank you at home for participating with us, um, for your attention, your energy, your questions. If you still have questions, uh, please send them, and we'll make sure you'll get an answer. Um, I enjoyed this three-day event very much. I know a bit more about science and ICT technology. Uh, thank you for the technical team behind the scenes. As Marie said, the whole team, uh, but also the Nemo Science Museum for their fun experiment, interactive experiment, and uh, have a lovely evening. And whilst Sibren is getting ready, I wish you all a fantastic evening. Hopefully see you next year. And I'd like to end this day with the following quote by computer scientist Grace Hopper. If it's a good idea, go ahead and do it. <laughs>